and a very good morning to you. It is Monday morning, the 14th of March, the year 2022, and this is your friend Angus Bucken with a thought for the day. If we go to the Gospel of John chapter 11 and just one verse, verse 35, Jesus wept. Possibly the shortest verse in the entire Bible. Great compassion. It's what the world desperately needs today. We are looking for compassion today. Jesus knew that Lazarus was about to come out of the tomb, and yet he still felt heart sore for the people. Compassion is to have sympathetic pity and concern for the sufferings or misfortunes of others. You know that wonderful man of God, William Booth, the founder of the Salvation Army, was sent a letter from some of his soldiers overseas. They said, we've tried everything. We're trying to preach the gospel. The people are not interested. And he wrote back a letter to them. Only two words on that letter. Try tears. When we are not having success in preaching the gospel, we need to get closer to the people. Charles Finney, the great revivalist, he said, where there is no tears and there are no amens, there is no revival. I want to say to you today that we need to be more compassionate. You know the story of uh, the Queen of France, Mary Antoinette, when she was totally out of touch with her people and they had no bread to eat. The people were starving and she said, give them cake to eat. I don't know whether that's factual or not, but that's the story. We need to get to where the people are. Today, you need to have a heart of compassion, a heart that can identify with people who are suffering. And maybe you suffering yourself today. You say, no one cares. Oh, my dear friend, I want to tell you, there is one who cares. His name is Jesus. You know, he he wept more than he laughed. That's an absolute fact. I'm finding the older I get, the more I preach, I seem to be weeping more than preaching. I want to be where the people are. And you and I need to do that today. When you go out today, look for people who are hurting and love them. Don't preach to them. Put your arm around them and weep with them. That's where the healing comes from. Have a wonderful day. God bless you and goodbye.